Hello, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Uh, I'm just gonna read these books real quick. Do any of you remember when The Walking Dead was still airing on TV? You know, like every Sunday night at 9 or something like that, a new episode would come on. And they would get, do a recap of what happened in the last episode before starting, you know, the uh, next episode that was being released. What if I just did previously on Project Zomboid? This, this might have been, th this might be a little bit of a lost cause. Air activity detected. Son of a, stop, and bam, two for one. And we're done. Reading the books, that is. So now that we're done reading all those books, we're going to eat, drink, and probably sleep or get on with our plan for the, uh, this episode. So, our mission for this episode is going to be securing a new place of residence. Specifically somewhere over here in the gated community of Riverside. There's our two-story houses, they have uh, connected garages, and just a lot more storage space than our well, single-story home here in this little uh, cul-de-sac. Uh, we'll just grab this cheap survival knife. And we'll probably... We'll retire this hand hatchet for now, as I do want to uh, kind of preserve them. As uh, axes are basically our bread and butter. There we go. And let's go on a bit of a drive. Machetes are good. You know, long blade is just a real good skill anyways, even though the only long blades that there are in the game are effectively machetes and katanas and whatnot. So, you know, you gotta... Couple of occupants. There we go. I also decided to finally bind the um, uh, force ground attack button. So now we can. So long as I'm holding that button, I uh, the game will not prioritize uh, the standing guys. I do want a uh, washer dryer combo for the sake of convenience and whatnot. I could have my clothes being washed while I do other things around the house. There's also a nice fireplace in here, which is will be useful for when winter comes about. If I make it that far. <laughs> it's also a good chance that one of these places could be a survivor home. So we look out for boards on the windows and whatnot. So this house is meh. Would prefer something a bit deeper into the neighborhood, but there is a shed in the backyard that we can check out. A generator? <laughs> Hello there! That's beautiful. A propane tank and a propane torch. Stealth. Stealth. I got a pot of stew, it seems. Pot of soup. Which we will pour that out because I do need a pot. There is a, another propane tank in here. Okay, this place is just full of propane. Hank Hill would be proud. Propane and propane accessories. Sounds like we got quite the family up here, oh my goodness, that person has a gun on them. Ooh, 
What's up, fuckers? Come on down. Make sure we got space. got one in the chamber because of course it does a lot of irresponsible gun owners that's our level up in long blade bitch Oh god, why are there so many clowns in Riverside? This is like the third one. Seriously. Oh, bathroom party. There's four of them in there. Jesus Christ, dude. Good old bathroom party. Alrighty. Wine. Speaking of alcoholic drinks, I went to the liquor store today. In real life. And uh, got myself some bottle of Fireball Whiskey. It's uh, cinnamon. Burns on the way down. And you get like a little cinnamon aftertaste, and it's awesome. I love it. Because I'm spicy like that. And uh, I got some blue raspberry lemonade vodka. So, yeah. I'll definitely be indulging in that when I review this footage. <laughs> sounds like there's a number of them in this place. It sounds like a door's about to break down. Doors broke down. This house has two back doors. The f Why would you lock one door but not the other? What the hell's wrong with you? It's a half bathroom. Um. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Uh, chains. We're going to need chains if we're going to, um, uh, reinforce our tires, which will be useful during the winter. And also if we're just protecting our tire, our wheels in general. Okay, well, like, I guess, oh. Where'd you come from? So those, that's a nice shirt. Sport t-shirt. Black and pink sneakers. Hmm. Oh, you got the bisexual colors. Nice. That's real nice. I should take that out of just principle, you know? But, eh. Whoop -dee. Hello. This is a nice house. A lot of space in the living room. Fireplace. You know, nice little ocean, uh, ocean painting. And a how to use generator mag because, of course. <laughs> Washer and dryer. Damn it, I didn't put my phone on silent. I'll say this is a 
probable candidate for um, our new home. It's spacious. It's got a washer dryer. It's got a this nice little dining room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, can't go wrong with that. And torches and three gun cases. Is that a what gun is that? Is that a Mark 14? <laughs> that is an FAL. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The right arm of the free world. The FNFAL. <laughs> okay, this house pretty fucking good. We're pretty good. I love this house, but we're gonna go but we're not done yet. We still got an entire neighborhood to check out. Spacious backyard. There's a charcoal That house is barricaded. That's a survivor house. Okay, alright. I see what you're doing, Zomboid. Survivor house. You know what survivor house means. Bunch of weapons. Guns, maybe a katana, and also probably a lot of zombies inside. Alright, let's unbarricade this door. Tire iron axe, spears, baseball bat with nails, 2x4 with a nail in it, shovels, sharpened screwdrivers, salvage pipes, and another rancher machete, a splitting axe, and a wood axe, which is Mm. Oh yes, and a wild raccoon's leather jacket. This is actually better. Washer dryer combo. Woo! There's definitely gonna be more in the kitchen, right? Just <laughs> a Mark Twenty Three mag. An M24 sniper rifle? I love it. We got in here. Guns and ammo. An M16 assault rifle! Oh yeah. A civilian bulletproof vest and a gas mask. Ear protectors and leather gloves and whatnot. Football helmets. Mossberg 590. Black leather trousers. Those are rare as fuck. I'm wearing those. Oh. That's a herd. Is the entire herd right there. Okay, we need to be careful here. This could end badly for us if we're not careful. SKS-45, as in an SKS that was from 1945, type SKS. Yeah, that is a 1945 SKS. 
Terrible condition, though, as expected of a Soviet weapon from the world from the Second World War. Therefore, you stay on this shelf. And a Mark II pistol. Would that be suppressed? It's a 22 caliber pistol, and I believe that the Ruger Mark II is suppressed, like, integrally. I'm not sure. Let's test it, though, because I'm curious. One shot. One opportunity. I don't really know. Could be. We'll just take it. It's a Ruger Mark II. Why not? I mean, it didn't attract those guys over there, so it's probably suppressed. Ah, uh, yes. Let's just keep the 38 special fucking lever-action carbine in the kids' room. What a great idea. Yeah, a lot of responsible gun... <laughs> a lot of responsible gun owners in Kentucky. <laughs> we'll clear out the outer part of the, uh... The neighborhood first. And then, is that a, is that a prepper? Is that a prepper? Holy shit, that's a prepper. Yo! That, that is real good gear. That is also rare. <laughs> With my settings, at least. Hey, oh, come here. Yeah, that's a prepper. Damn. Okay. Oh, hero. Get fucked. Uh, washer, no dryer. Got a washer, but no dryer. What the fuck? Psychos are just drying your clothes without a dryer? I mean, I can understand that this is a rich neighborhood. <laughs> Something. Laundromats were a lot more common back in the day. But I guess I'm just spoiled with my washer and dryer. <laughs> I mean, I remember going to the laundromat a couple of times when I was a kid. I don't know why when we had a fully functional washer and dryer at home, but I don't know. I remember it had, I remember the um the laundromat had like a like a claw machine or something that was like full of stuffed animals and whatnot. Hmm. 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 Yes. Double barrel shotgun in what I presume is like a, a guest bedroom or a, a kid's bedroom. I'm taking that just just cause it's you know <laughs> I, I made I made myself a promise before. Uh, off-camera that if I ever find the CD Raps for Christ, I'm taking it. I'm not a religious person, but uh... It's a... Uh, purely for com comedic purposes. <laughs> oh god, now I got that. I'm thinking of that one really funny song. Ever since I just... Ah, oh, man. I got it stuck in my head now. <laughs> I remember my brother showed me the, um, the video. It's called, uh, I think it's called Rappin' for Jesus. <laughs> I would, uh, just recommend watching it with headphones on. Because, <laughs> you know, tr tr just trust me on that. <laughs> I mean, it's an old meme at this point, but, like, it's still so funny. <laughs> an SKS. Got a couple of biters in here. And by a couple, I mean quite a few. Oh, hey, it's a garage band. <laughs> I 
didn't expect them I didn't expect both of them to just fall over so easily. God. Woo! Woo! Whoa! Oh shit! This is a bad place to be! Let's get the fuck out of that! Woo! Okay! That could have been bad! Jesus Christ! Okay! Shit! That was close! And there's still more! Check the kitchen... Or dining room... Sounds like there's a number of them. Psst. Whoa. Whoa, okay. I don't know how you didn't get your hands on me, because I was zoomed out and whatnot. Where the hell are you all coming from? I'm gonna close this door. Nerve-wracking. Okay, what do we got? A gun case with an SKS. Is this a place full of Soviet spies? Well, it's 93, so the Soviet Union is gone. So. You know. Uh, another survivor home. That's nice. Nope, nope. Get fucked. Okay, what well ripped? Not the pants. Uh, gloves are fine. Here's my poncho. Okay, okay. Thank fuck. Alright. That's the first time we've gotten grabbed on camera. Even though the first grab that happened off camera yeah off camera was um didn't do any damage to our clothes a nice house right here it's a, it's got a shed in the back hopefully the back door is not barricaded or fuck me that actually got me double barricaded so that's not too bad okay sounds like there's quite a few zombies in here and i'm now drowsy which is not good Washer dryer combo, so we might also consider this as a potential home. Okay. Contact. I don't know why I said contact. <laughs> Fuck. It's just one. sleep. Let's see. Even though it's dark as fuck. Is that a generator? That is a generator. Alright. That's the outer part of the neighborhood. Relatively clear. Get out of here. I'm trying to increase the pop. The... Fuck. <coughs> I, this is a gentrification uh campaign, alright? This is... You're all being gentrified by, uh... Not undead humans. Turn off the alarm, since there's really no reason to have it if I keep waking up early. Oh, the joys of taking wakeful. I have so much energy, and I don't sleep for long, but Jesus Christ, do I wake up at, like, the dumbest fucking times, because I gotta go to sleep at the dumbest fucking times. Oh, hi David. How are you doing? Oh, this house has two garages? Uh, this house is a, definite, is a definite contender for, um, new home. It's got two garages. Which is like, you know, more space. The better. It even has a fireplace, which makes it even... Oh, rotten bread. 
This time on AMC's Rotten Bread. <laughs> huh? Washer dryer combo. Hey, this is like House Hunters, man. Like, we're getting our dream stuff here. Two garages, washer dryer, like, lots of space, two floors. We are. We are, we are, we, 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 we were eating good in the neighborhood. Stealth. Just strong contender for this, uh... Well, this episode was simply just looking for a, uh, place to live. Not exactly going to be moving into a place to live. But we'll probably, uh, once we finish clearing out the entire neighborhood, we'll just, um... We'll make a decision by the end of the episode of where we should go. Come on out, motherfucker. Oh, and there goes the machete. Rip Rancher machete. Used by, uh, I think, Glenn from The Walking Dead. And hello, Kukuri machete. Mmm, yes. Ah, I love Kukuris. They're my... F well, they were my favorite. So cool looking. Wow, this bathroom has two. That bathroom has two sinks. You can have two sinks in one bathroom, but you can't. In e two sinks in your ba in like each of your bathrooms, but you can't have a fucking color TV. Duh. We got to move these color TVs. This is a kid's bedroom. Why is there a Tech 9 in here? Is that, is that another Tech 9? There's two Tech 9s! I think we find, might have found a uh, certain shooter from 1999's room. How to use generators. Of course. What the hell? Why would you have this stupid fancy ass chair as your damn desk chair L office? Fuck, I can't talk. I'm not even drunk. <laughs> uh, this garage door has been. Yeah. That. Just one of the many things of Zomboid. Uh, uh, hello? Hello? Oh my god, what the fuck is this wallpaper? Barbie Dreamhouse shit right here. Seriously, the walls are pink. Every wall is pink. Or just, every wall is just some shade of pink. Jesus. Yeah, this is a literal Barbie Dreamhouse right here. Save for the outdoors areas. Not being pink. And the garage. Now you could argue. Well, you could argue that the garage is a faded pink of some kind, but everything is pink. There's pink curtains. Good God. Purple, which is arguably a shade of pink. Oh, yes, but despite the fact that they have a pink-as-fuck house, they still believe in the Second Amendment. Also pink. More pink. Why is this house so pink? I mean, hey. And there's only two- there were two dudes here that just live in here. You know? <laughs> and one of them was wearing a crop top. I mean, hey. Pink house? Just slay, dudes. Slay. Why is it all Ruger rifles? I mean, the only weapon that I've seen that is even remotely not a Ruger bolt-action rifle is probably the M24, which is, I believe, the Remington 700? Which I believe might be one of the only Remington rifles in Vanilla Firearms expansion. I don't know if the uh, R1187 is a Remington. -er. Cars. I could do anything to not drive, you know, if America made walkable cities, 
uh, and actually prioritize that, then maybe I wouldn't need a car, but no. Because some fucker in the early 1900s was like, hey, this is the Ford Model T. Everyone's gonna have a car when, like, like, once the economy starts booming, everyone's gonna have a car, right? Right? No. Because nobody thinks that far ahead. What's in the gun case? SKS. So many SKSs in this one gated neighborhood. That is an AK-47. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a quick drive home, drop off some things, and then we'll uh, worry about looking at the rest of these homes. Of course. Hey, fucker. Off of my window! Uh, now nah, I'll just throw all these eggs in the microwave and eat them. Uh, do not try this at home. As putting eggs in the microwave causes them to fucking explode. The eggs. Oh, shit! Press the wrong button. And I burnt my eggs. Uh, we'll just, um... We'll just let the, uh... Local wildlife have those. There we go. There we go. We got us some good old pocket eggs. Fresh, cooked. Not necessarily appetizing, but... You know... That protein. Eggs are a superfood. They're good for you. I think I've, I've already made up my mind on which one I want to take. And it's this one because it has the double garage. We'll just uh, mark that as that. And in the next episode, we'll uh, want to make that place our home. So, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have a good time.